Do you believe Noah's Ark really existed? Scientists and archaeologists claim to have found the legendary Noah's Ark, the vessel that, according to the Bible, saved Noah and his family from the flood that God sent to destroy the world. They found an ancient wooden structure at an altitude of 4,000 meters. The structure is 4,800 years old and is very likely Noah's Ark. The discovery could revolutionize our understanding of history and reveal long-hidden secrets. But has Noah's Ark really been found? Don't worry, I'll tell you. Let's find out together. In the last century, on September 27, 1960, an intriguing event occurred and aroused the curiosity of an ordinary individual who was related to biblical-themed archaeological exploration. An individual known as Hohenwein was an archaeologist with a focus on researching biblical events. He became famous all over the world for his tireless search for ancient relics. Hohenwein was captivated by the mystery of an intriguing discovery he'd seen in an article in Life magazine. This striking discovery was a boat shape that had been carved into a mountain located 20 miles south of Mount Ararat in Turkey. This intriguing formation ignited in Hohenwein a burning desire to investigate its origins and uncover its hidden secrets. After being consumed by the desire for two years to learn more about this discovery, in 1975, he decided to build a small model of Noah's Ark to study its reaction to floating near the different models of mountains he constructed. He concluded that the ark must have landed in a place with a gently sloping mountain formation, not the summit of Mount Ararat, but he continued his research. He also discovered that the cubit used to describe the measurements of the ark was the royal cubit, which was the standard universal measurement of the time. Ron, after a lot of study and research, decided to go to Turkey to see the great find firsthand. By then, he was sure that it could be Noah's Ark. He took his children and a research team with him. Upon arriving at the site, he found artifacts that left him shocked and increasingly certain that this was Noah's Ark. He found an ancient building at the site which he believed to be Noah's house. He also found two tombs, possibly belonging to him and his wife, as well as a massive stone with eight carved crosses. Could they have been his family? The archaeologist and his team believe so. Ron found a natural amphitheater where Noah might have performed sacrifices. Also found were two large stones that would have been used for animal sacrifices. It appears that animals were offered to these stones before being offered on the large altar. They also found large stone anchors that could have been used on the Great Ark. They returned to the United States. During this period, an earthquake hit part of Turkey and significantly shook the research site. However, the Sheikh revealed another part that was hidden from the large possible vessel. So they returned to the site and the research continued. He and his team were increasingly certain that it was the Ark, as they were able to measure the shape of the vessel and it was the exact measurement. He was at peace with his idea and continued his work to uncover the truth. After months of research and study, the large team behind the significant work that was carried out concluded that the final discoveries lead everyone to believe that it really is Noah's Ark. It is believed that the Ark was covered by lava from a volcano, and as time passed, the water from the melting snow exposed the Ark, allowing the wood to petrify. This discovery changed the view that the Ark would be recognizable and still intact after 4,300 years. The lava covered the Ark quickly, reducing the oxygen and preventing combustion, making it even harder for anything inside it to survive. The discovery of the Ark proves that historical information can be found in unexpected ways, but there has been a lot of criticism of the discovery. Some archaeologists claimed that a lack of evidence proved it wasn't just a rock formation and doubted the researcher because he wasn't really an archaeologist. 
Some researchers and archaeologists began to search for more information about the site where the supposed Ark might be and started a new search at the site, but this time with the intention of claiming that it wasn't the real Ark. However, they found more evidence that only led them to believe it was in fact the great vessel made by Noah. After deep excavations and research at the site, they detected pieces of wood that had petrified over time, remains of petrified animal waste, a horn base, and even human hair. But that's just the beginning of the story. Other evidence began to emerge, such as rocks that would have kept the vessel stable during the flood and pieces of metal that made a part of the ship. Amazing, isn't it? However, the discoveries have only intensified the discussion on the subject further. Several criticisms arose and the validity of the evidence was questioned. Are these discoveries really true or just a big mistake? But the validity of the biblical story is still called into question and the discoveries of biblical archaeologist Ron Weiner are still treated as a great mystery. Scientists and archaeologists from all over the world have taken an interest in the subject and continue research around the site and the large structure discovered. Many believe it indeed is Noah's Ark, others work tirelessly to prove otherwise. Despite the theories and proofs that have emerged over the years, no one can actually claim that this is Noah's Ark. For researcher Ron at first, there is no doubt that it is, but other renowned archaeologists have cast doubt on his theories. However, over the years, the research began to be supported by the Turkish government with the intention of seeking an effective confirmation that this indeed is Noah's Ark because they want to explore religious tourism in the region. And yes, research continues. And for you, is this really Noah's Ark or just another ancient vessel found? Thank you for sticking with us until the end. See you in the next video.